Welcome to the dream world. Where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi. On the dream line. Welcome to the dream world. And we are going straight away into your dream interpretations on dream line one. The first dream is coming from uh, Joshua. Hi, Pastor. I'm Mwanje Joshua. My sister dreamt when I was dead. When I was dead, what does it mean? Thanks. God bless you. But now, but dream line, uh, dream line is becoming very hard these days. Uh, demands the dream world. Brief very quickly. And uh, you know, I don't have interpreter now. Because to cause the servant to banji nyo. Interpreter, you know, kubera o, tu ino kubera no muntu ali ku camera, tu ino kubera no muntu ali ku sound booth, tu ino kubera no muntu abera ku mixer, abera ku screen, tu ino muntu ino geno kubera mu computer, o kwe ditinga, tu ino kubana producer, postinga, and we don't have enough resources, we don't have enough finances to meet all those bills and needs. During a church a child in Zigale, it was a little bit easier. Nekat demand zaiti do bunji, abakozi bali bize, chovola ba mudja kun sonywa, njaku geda mulimi ruganda, wwalu zungu, neate na mwe, temuba de nyobe sigwa, ku supporting uh platform and financially. Noza nakfuna yaba and tunga babidi bokaba basat abasobolo ku eleza omutualo in kumieta na kasam no recho twins ok to kama seyo nga tule mere dua ne dream line you know, because it is very very expensive data human resource to be some systems as in your knowledge of sony way now yeah you're going to briefing very soon what we are going to decide but the demands are too much now ever since the churches were opened joshua a chiro to chihuahua ose uh olimu anje yakuvu nula muluga and akubangu mpada manya abiri i'm joshua from mkumba my sister dreamt when i was dead what does it mean Joshua, your dream means the spirit of death is hovering over your life. Hoover, hoover, chiberanga bolava, a canyoni cano, a bacaitani, a canyoni, a calia, a bienyanja, bacaja, a chenyanja, cabela mubanga, a hovering, a wakati, a calizok timing, a mubanga bola, a nyoning, a zero, a guzzi, a walling, a gumclemeso, or moyo walk for guta, a mula, a guruo. Salamagezi aga breaking the spirit of death, fight it and win it. Kubanga tutekwa kubela balam. Norwecho, your dream means the spirit of death is hovering over your life, is moving over your life. You can break it. Teweta kakumala kuluala, anything can happen in between there. Norwecho wangulo moyo go, obele mulam. The next dream is coming from Tracy. Hello, Pastor. It is me, Tracy. Pastor, last night I dreamt when I am at the school, current school, I had 26 notes of $100 in my pocket. So I decided to count it. The more I could count, the more I could get confused. So I invited so of my friends to help me count it. It so happened that the money was still the same amount. So I decided to keep it in to a bottle. After putting it there, it turned into papers. What does it mean? Tracy, pray to God to bring you financial connections. Your dream simply means that you need to pray to God. Seek God. Call upon God. Pray. Commit yourself to seek God that he may bring to you financial connections. There are people out there whom God can connect you with to improve your finances and to connect you in the area of finances. So pray that God will bring those people in your life to connect you in that area. Next dream is coming from Irene. Praise God, Pastor. I'm Irene. My dream is like I was in church and one of the lady came to church with two purse full of money. One who had a lot of foreign currency, dollars, pounds and euros, ETC. And the one who had only Ugandan currency. But when I saw the money, I tried my best to steal the money from her first, from her. First, I stole the purse with foreign currency. As she was looking for the purse, I had again managed to hide under the chair the second one. What does this, what does this confusing dream mean? I'm not a thief. Yes, you might not be a thief, but the dream is trying to show you that you should always show faithfulness. 
And this faithfulness is going in the area of tithing. Irene, I don't know if you have been faithful in tithing. The dream is about faithfulness. When you say you are not a thief, I cannot doubt you. But if you are not faithfully paying your tithes, then you are a thief. Because that's what the Bible said. The Bible said, you have robbed me. Rob. Robbing is even greater than a thief. So this dream is about financial faithfulness. And especially in the area of tithing. The Lord is trying to show you that you have not been faithful. You have been cheating. You have been robbing. You have been stealing me. But if you say that you are not a thief, just prove yourself that you have been faithfully paying your tithes. And if you have not been paying them faithfully, then you are a thief. But you can improve, Irene, in Jesus' name. The next one is coming from Prosy. Praise God, Pastor and Prosy. I dreamt that I dreamt that my friend and I crossed a big river. We found a woman across. She had a gun and thus looked like a soldier. Our way back, we came with a woman, Natsanga, Natsanga, or Muganga Guboze, covering the bridge. Somehow we managed to find our way through the water. After crossing, I saw a big snake in some kind of a cave. It was speckled. We started looking for it and it hid in the cave. The woman, now who looked like my mother, wanted to shoot it. During our search, a certain part of the cave, which now looked like an abandoned concrete tank, opened and we saw goats, many speckled goats, which then made their way out. One of the goats was giving birth with the kid failing to get out, uh, somehow they get out. Though some two goats were trying to help it produce, I hardly pulled the kid out, and the goat which was making a lot of noise got relieved. What could this mean? Prose, the first part of it is the spirit of witchcraft in the deep waters. Walue mioye mibi ejobu fumu no blogo ejukolida munyanja. Menya menya emioye mibi ejobu fumu no blogo. Emioyo emibi oba emizimu emibi ejobu fumu no blogo ejukolida munyanja ejukolida mumazi. Jejemiyo jaga lukulumba okukola kubu labi. Bobo breakinga, I'm very specific with you. Break the evil spirits that works in the water. Emiyo jukolida mumazi jukutule juangule. Jive kubula mubo, oboli na habana Na habana bo jiva gobeko Oja kufune mire mbene subi In Jesus' name The next one is coming from Slivia Pastor, good morning, I'm Slivia what, it, what Does it mean when you dream When you are an old woman When an old woman giving you coins Reaching 600 shillings They were 203 times And with a bag hmm? Coins they were 203 times and with the bag bag of mud out from papyrus thank you pastor but I'm going to interpret the issue of coins I don't understand the Chia English those rings that for me I don't understand it but anyway and I get your point here uh, this is a spirit of poverty the coins the coins is the least money of all the legal tender send a simba yo but no zibera coin te wali mu nsimu na yagala kufuna coin ka be katonda te twagala coin abaka tale te bagala coin ababanka te bagala coin te ndi muntu go wa coin na asanyuka nebo jiwa girlfriend wo coin he can she cannot be happy so coins in this dream it doesn't matter how much they were they represent the spirit of poverty pray to overcome that stronghold stronghold the stronghold of poverty chukutule chive kubulamubo mulinya ya yesu kristo omana katondomlam this is the end of dream interpretations 
on Dreamline One. Welcome to the Dream World, where your dreams are interpreted by Pastor Aaron Motebi on the Dreamline.